Handy Quilter machines will work with a variety of threads so you can achieve just the right look with your quilting. Be sure to choose a high quality thread. Let's look at some different threads today and see how they work with our machine. The silver thread is a 60 weight polyester and the pink thread is a 100 silk. These threads are great for micro quilting. These threads are 50 weight threads. The green is a cotton two ply. The white and the red are three ply polyester. They can be used for micro quilting or just for regular quilting on your quilt. These two threads are 40 weight threads. The pink fuchsia thread is a cotton thread and the silver thread is a trilobal polyester. A lot of people use this in embroidery. It works great for quilting. This orange thread is a 30 weight polyester thread. It's a three ply so it makes it quite a bit heavier and it really shows when you're quilting. These two threads are 19 weight thread. The, the black and red is a polyester and the orange and green is a cotton thread. This adds real bulk to the quilting. These two threads are metallic threads. The gold on the left is a twist and the thread on the right is a flat thread. It's a mylar thread. They both add sparkle to your quilting. They also need to have a little less tension because they're a little bit more delicate. This thread is a monofilament thread. You can purchase it in nylon or in a poly thread. This is a thread that you want to use when you don't want your thread to show, you just want the texture of the quilting. This is a heavy thread that will not go through your needle. This is a great thread for embellishing. Wind it on your bobbin and loosen the bobbin tension and enjoy embellishing your quilts. Handy Quilter recommends only one needle system for its machines. Make sure you are using the right needles for your machine. Purchase needles from your Handy Quilter rep or from our Handy Quilter website. Choose from size 12 to size 20 needles depending on the thread, fabric, or batting you are using. For general quilting, a size 16 needle will accommodate most threads and fabrics. Heavier threads such as the top stitching and some decorative threads require a larger needle such as the 18 or 20. Lofty bats and heavy fabrics such as denim, canvas, or densely woven fabrics may also require a larger needle. Let's examine the parts of the needle. The shank is the top of the needle and it's round contrary to a sewing machine needle that has a flat part on it. The next part is the groove and that's where the thread goes down and it protects the thread as it goes into the fabric. Then there's the eye of the needle. That's where the thread goes. You want the correct size eye for the thread you're using and then the scarf. That's the indentation in the back of the needle where the bobbin hook passes to form the stitch. Change the needle often. Do not use bent or dull needles. Every quilt deserves a new needle. Loosen the needle bar, clamp thumb screw, and remove the old needle. With the long groove down the front of the needle and the scarf of the indentation, at the back, push the needle all the way up into the needle bar. Place the point of the old needle in the eye of the new needle to easily align the eye of the needle and to hold it in place. Look into the sight hole to verify that the butt of the needle reaches the top of the sight hole. Carefully tighten the needle bar clamp screw. To thread your HQ Sweet 16, Bring the thread up through the first thread guide, the next thread guide, and then to the three hole thread guide. Thread it from the back to the front, around from the back to the front, and again from the back to the front. Then through the next thread guide, then floss it into the tension discs up and catch 
the spring. And down under the stirrup. And then thread it through the take up lever. Down to the next thread guide. To the silver ring. There's a hole in the silver ring. Make sure it goes in there. And then through the needle from the front to the back. Test your tension to make sure the tension is correct. To change thread colors, clip your thread, tie on the next thread color, and then pull the thread through from the needle. When the knot gets to the tension dial, release the tension disc and pull it through. When it comes to the needle, clip the knot and then re-thread. Sometimes your thread may be able to go through the needle if the thread is fine. To install the horizontal spool pin, take off the nut and take the washer off and place the washer on the machine and then place the horizontal spool pin on and thread it and tighten the nut. Position the post so that it is perpendicular to the machine. Some threads such as this flat hologram thread needs to go on the horizontal spool pin rather than going vertical. This thread is like toilet paper. It needs to wind horizontal rather than vertical or it will create twists. See how the toilet paper rolls flat? This is the way this thread needs to roll. As it rolls off, it will roll off without creating a twist. With this thread, you'll only thread this through the top hole of your three hole thread guide and then thread it as usual. Through the thread guide, through the discs and floss it. Just catch the spring under the stirrup. Loosen the thread tensioner two to three turns Now thread it through the take-up lever. Loosen the thread so that it'll come through easily through the thread guide, through the silver ring. And then through the needle. To clean the lint out of the machine, use a small brush and make sure that you clean it out of the bobbin hook area and under and around the hook. Place a drop of oil on the race of the hook and then turn your hand wheel down and up and down and up to lubricate the race. Place the bobbin in the bobbin case with the bobbin turning in a clockwise position. Place the bobbin case into the bobbin hook and make sure it snaps into position. To remove the bobbin case, grab a hold of the latch and pull the case out. The bobbin will come with it. <laughs>